Good morning, guys. I am out. I'm working today. This is very impromptu. So listen, I don't know how this video is going to go because I don't have my remote for my camera, the phone, everything. But I wanted to pop in. Um, you all can ride along to work with me. I'm not going to really talk about a lot of work stuff. So I don't want people thinking that that's what I'm talking about today. But I do have a uh, work day in the life of a registered nurse coming up soon home health and i'm going to be sharing some of the work the remote work that i've been doing i wanted to pop in i'm just gonna call this talk about it tuesday for some reason at the very beginning of the month i get week month everything i love beginnings i love beginnings fresh starts and different things like that i get uh supercharged super motivated i was in a bit of a slump because i was so busy in the month of august and i didn't properly plan so that kind of got the best of me i was a little anxious i was a little down and out because i felt like i uh didn't do a lot of things that i wanted to do i did things that i needed to do but i didn't do a lot of things that i wanted to do and i resolved that that was okay but what I want to talk about today is gratitude. I am living in what I am calling my for this I prayed era. For this I prayed. I think we spend so much time thinking about the future, thinking about things to come, thinking about the things that we desire, that we skip the for this I pray era that we happen to be living in. And I wanna thank my daughter. My daughter really prompted this. Uh, last one in August, I, I shared with a friend of mine that I just fell in a spirit of gratefulness one evening, just overtook me, overcame me. I was almost arrested in my bedroom, uh, bathing in gratitude and things that I was so proud of myself for for leaving, for walking away from, and for ultimately choosing myself, for choosing me for, okay? But my daughter, we uh, we recently were on vacation. We just came, we're fresh off of vacation. And while we were there, I don't know what prompted this uh, for her, but we're always, as I am sure most people are teaching their children about being grateful. So I um, always, share with my daughter how uh, blessed she is, how privileged she is, and I just also want her to have an attitude of gratefulness, of gratitude. And we were there in the hotel. Uh, my husband was in more like, I guess, the, t the common area, the TV area. He's a big TV watcher. Uh, he had laid down and kind of took a rest, fell off, drifted to sleep. And my daughter and I were in the bedroom I was editing a YouTube video. She was what I thought was TikToking or chatting with her friends on her cell phone. But all of a sudden, my daughter is very touchy-feely. She loves hugs. She loves to let you know that she loves you so that we get that repeatedly all day from her. And she came over to me and she uh, got next to me in the bed and she, and she was counting something with her fingers. I didn't know what she was doing. But she just began to just state I could hear what she was counting and she was naming all these different cities and states and what I figured out she was doing was she was counting all of the places that we had been able to travel to this year just the year of 2023 and she just gave me the biggest hug and um just just held on to me so tight and she said mommy thank you thank you so much and I said what what are you thanking me for and she just began to just name out cities and states and different things of everywhere we have traveled to and she said I just thank you and daddy so much and she said can I go and thank daddy I said well baby girl if you want to you can but he's sleeping so you can either do it now or you can tell him when he wakes up she said I'm just so thankful mommy and thank you for teaching me for being grateful and uh, if I ever uh, came off all right guys sorry about that the camera overheated um, before the camera overheated and you all you know what 
I'm really like, I'm on fire today. I'm telling y'all now, I'm really on fire today. And I want to share this fire. And I want it to go off like a blaze, like a wildfire. And set each and every person on fire that hears this, okay? Um, you And I said that to say, the reason what prompted me to say that is, you may not be able to see me that well. Because I intentionally parked somewhere. I parked in the shade because it is the sun that's causing the camera to overheat. And I said that because another thing that went on with my daughter blessed me when it came to this trip. There were some things that we had her to do uh, in preparation for this trip. She had no idea, absolutely no idea that we were going on this trip. We picked her up. Her things had been packed, everything. She was clueless as the fact that we were going on this vacation. But again, early this morning, she said, oh, mommy, she was getting her things ready for school. And she said, you know what? Now I see why you told me to do this, this, and that. And it was because we were going out of town. Another thing that I'm teaching her is when we tell her to do things, don't oppose, don't object, don't do it. And the thought came to my mind as I was parking here and I was like, well, they may not be able to see me. I don't need you all to see me well. I need you all to hear me and I need you to follow the instructions that I'm giving today. That was the same thing that we needed her to do when we were telling her to do certain things. It wasn't about seeing why or understanding why we were telling her to do it we just needed her to follow the instructions so that everything could run smoothly. And in many ways, God works that way with us. We can't foresee the future. Everything, the instructions that we have been giving seems crazy at the time. It seems like we're moving in darkness. He just needs us to trust what he is telling us to do. The Bible speaks about gratitude. And entering his presence with thanksgiving and with praise, okay? I want you all to enter into your, for this I prayed era. Enter that era. This era has something for you that I promise you, you don't want to miss. You do not want to miss the for this I pray era. I am truly, absolutely, truly living the life that I prayed for. May not be the life that somebody else prayed for, but it is truly the life that I prayed for. And I shared in another video how the attitude of, of gratitude was very instrumental in getting me there. Speaking and affirming myself speaking the word of God, praying the word of God over my life, believing God. There are still things that I'm in waiting for in great expectancy for, and I'm believing and trusting God for. I told a my best friend a little bit over a week ago to write down everything that she is trusting and believing God for, every great word, every prophetic word, Everything the Bible, everything that God has shared with her, whispered in her ear, uh, dreams and aspirations that he's put into her heart. Make a list of those things. Honey, I'm telling you all, believe God for the things, for the life that you want to live. Be thankful and grateful for the position that he has you in right now. It could always be worse. My daughter, for that child who has blessed me with her kind words and her sweet, sweet spirit, for that child I prayed. For that child I prayed. I'll share my testimony on becoming a mother in another video. But do know, for that child I prayed. I prayed for her. I also not just pray to actually be her mother, to be a actual mother, but I pray to have a child that was thankful. I pray to have a child that was grateful. I pray to have a child that had a beautiful, sweet, sweet spirit. Now she is not a perfect child. I am not a perfect mother. 
this season of her going into her preteen season has been really hard for me because I've had to do what I am calling hard parenting. You know, we just want to tell our kids, yes, I did not have my daughter to tell her no, but I know no's are needed. God tells us no all the time. They're needed and they're necessary. We may not find out till way later down the line why that no was needed. Just as I need her to trust me as a parent, I need her to trust her dad as a parent. When we say no, we also need to become and get into our childlike spirit and trust the no's from our father. The one thing I love about God and, you know, looking at my daughter and she'll always be like my baby girl, okay? She'll go on one day and uh, maybe have a family of her own, a husband of her own, a children of her own, follow her own dreams and aspirations and goals and different things like that, achieve mighty and great things in life. But she will still always be my baby girl. And I love that reminder that I get from her because I know that I am always God's baby girl. So he's always, just as I am always there to walk her through the steps and stages of life, he's always there for me. He's never going to leave me. He's never going to abandon me. He's always going to be pushing and propelling me in the right direction, moving this out of the way, moving that out of the way, moving that person out of the way, letting me know that that situation is no longer good for me. And now it's the time of grace where he has graced me to move on. Don't get me started today, y'all. I am fired up. I'm telling you now, adopt the spirit of thankfulness, adopt the spirit of gratitude, of gratefulness, okay? Move into your, for this I pray era. There is something, I know that you're in waiting. Many people are in waiting for many things, their dream job, their entrepreneurship to just take off, the house, the home, the car, the husband, the children, so many things that we are in expectancy for. But I promise you, if you position yourself in the spirit of gratitude, in the spirit of gratefulness, in the spirit of for this, I pray, there is something that you have right now that's tangible, that's touchable, that you can feel with your hands, that you can see with your eyes, that is there in your spirit, in your heart, that you have prayed for, and it has come to pass. Hold on to that thing. Hold on to it for dear life because it is proof that the rest of the things that you are waiting for, that you are working for, that you are expecting is coming. Appreciate this season. You're not going to get it back. Be grateful for now. For this, I pray. I am going to stop because I could go on and on and on and on. And as I begin to share more with you all about my life and the path and the direction that it has taken, you will understand. But do know, for this I pray, for this life right here, the life that I live today, I pray for this life. And I promise you, it is not just, you know, isolated to me. I promise you that for this this will be your testimony. That is my prayer for you. That if you are listening to the sound of my voice right now, that that is my prayer to you, to, to the God of heaven, okay? The God of heaven, the God of the Bible, that he blesses you with a this I pray attitude, a this I pray spirit, a this I pray gratitude and thankfulness, that you forever, ever, ever, I'll never stop living this era. I prophesy even over my own life that I will never stop living the this I pray for era. Every second, every moment, every minute, every hour, every month, every week, every year of my life will be that for which I prayed. And I pray that same thing for you all. 
I pray that this blessed you all. I have made it to my destination. I am going to get out of my car. I'm going to park where I actually need to be parked at because I parked over here for a reason. Uh, like I said, because I did not want the camera to keep cutting off of you. I love you all. And like I said, this is just talk about it Tuesday. Sometimes we don't talk about certain things enough. We don't want to come off of it's feeling like we're bragging and we're boasting and different things like that. But we overcome by the words of our testimony. And I hope that this blessed you today. And I hope that you enter into your for this I pray era. I love you all. And happy Tuesday.